Call it neglect, cruelty, good intentions gone awry, but whatever you call it, animal hoarding is on the rise in Clark County. As Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears discovered, not enough is being done to stop it. And when the cat wanders in after the food. That's the sound of a humane trap snapping shut. Cats like these were once inside. Lucky is the gray one there. And there's Chin Chin. Caught feral by the Community Cat Coalition of Clark County to be fixed and released back to their colonies. These kittens are some of the lucky ones, born feral but rescued early enough to be adopted out by C5. Others, taken in by hoarders, are not as lucky. They don't see that what they're doing is more harmful than good. They don't see that they're not able to provide adequate care, adequate food, clean water, shelter, veterinary care. Experts say animal hoarding is one of the greatest causes of animal suffering in the United States, and hoarders are responsible for causing more injuries, suffering, and deaths than the intentionally cruel acts of violent animal abusers. Most animals seized from hoarders in Clark County wind up at the Animal Foundation, almost all of them too sick or feral to be saved. It's incredibly sad and incredibly overwhelming. And it's not just ferals that fill hoarders' homes. Uh, there are times that they will go to Craigslist, free kittens, find them on the street. Uh, and, you know, they, they truly feel like they are the answer for caring for those animals. But caring is precisely what's not happening in the cases Chief Deputy District Attorney Amy Ferreira sees. Because animal hoarding really is um, part and parcel to uh, cruelty to animals. Um, it's a different form of cruelty to animals in that it involves neglect more so than abuse. According to experts we spoke to, hoarding is the only crime with a 100% recidivism rate, meaning the people who do it are just going to go out and do it again unless the underlying issues are properly addressed. Lack of communication between jurisdictions and agencies like code enforcement, social services, the health district and animal control can allow hoarders to move around and keep collecting animals, often immediately after being charged or having their animals removed. This is a mental health issue and without psychological intervention, oftentimes, most times, um, these people will simply repeat the behavior. Orange County in Southern California has set up a hoarding task force involving multiple agencies, something we don't have here in Clark County. As for the animals, Tampa Bay, Florida has found one solution, allowing feral cats to find new purpose as barn cats, providing pest and rodent control instead of being put down. Perhaps we will be able to find that as a community in the future through barn cat programs or working cat programs. Um, it's just not something we have in this community right now. California requires courts to order psychological counseling for convicted animal abusers. In Nevada, it's left to the court's discretion, and so is animal ownership. So if a judge chooses to say, you know, as part of being released, you can't have any animals, that's one thing, but it's not automatic. Nationwide, there are 2,000 new hoarding cases reported each year. Clark County DA Amy Ferreira has had three in just the last month. The surge in cases that we are seeing, does that suggest that we as a community are not tackling this problem properly? Um, I certainly think that there's more that can be done always. Clark County is working to create an animal cruelty task force and the DA says investigating hoarding cases will be part of that. They hope to have things up and running in the next six to 12 months. Darcy Spears, Channel 13 Action News.